Hey everyone, my name is Megan Heller and I'm a regional fisheries biologist out of the Salmon Idaho office. I focus primarily on wild salmon and steelhead and wanted to share with you some of the really interesting work that we do. So some of you may have been fortunate enough to see Chinook salmon spawning from a ground perspective, but it looks a bit different 150 feet up in the air. Many of the statewide Chinook salmon spawning ground surveys are done from the ground from August through September every year, but many are done from the air as well. So why is that? Well, we can cover much more inaccessible ground this way, with fewer people, and usually in a lot less time. Depending on what rivers or streams we are surveying, either a helicopter or drone are used. So what does a Chinook Salmon Red look like from the air? Well, come fly with us and find out. For the next several minutes, we're going to look at a series of images collected with a drone in September of 2023. So, a lot of the probability of observing a red from the air depends on the river substrate. What I mean by this is what the river bottom is comprised of, whether it's mostly boulders, gravel, maybe it's just really silty or sandy, or the opposite, it may be the substrate itself is very clean. A couple of other variables that influence our probability of detecting a red are conditions like clouds or tree shading. One of the really positive aspects of aerial imagery is our ability to look at them as long as we need to, zoom in, or even change the lighting and con contrast. I think you'll see how important that might be in just a minute. So when Chinook salmon dig to make a red, they uproot and sort cleaner gravel underneath the sediment. And oftentimes the contrast between the normal color of the riverbed and the cleaned gravel is how we're able to detect a red. The red in the photo here is an incredible example of what I'm talking about. This red is located in the Upper Salmon River near Stanley, Idaho. The Upper Salmon experienced multiple high flow events from rainstorms this fall that led to a lot of deposited sediment in the river from the Ross Fork fire that occurred in 2022. Consequently, a red that was built after the river and stream blowouts resulted in this easy to detect red. You can see the round nest that the Chinook Salmon female has dug with her tail fin to make room to deposit her eggs. You can also see the tail spill of finer sediments that washed out downstream of the red during the digging process. There's also a Chinook salmon currently on this red that you can actually see in the photo. Pretty neat, huh? See the next slide if you're not sure what we're looking at here. Okay, so here's that same red in the upper salmon zoomed in quite a bit so you can actually see that spawning fish. What really stands out is how white her tail is, which is what she primarily uses to sort the gravel and dig the red for her eggs. We'll look at this red once again zoomed out so you can kind of get your bearings here. Okay, so here's that same red zoomed out again. So now can you see the fish in the top left corner of the red? We'll circle the red itself in pink and then the fish in orange so you can be sure that we're on the same page. Okay, so there's that red circled in pink and there's that fish circled in orange. And just a heads up that this is one of the most easily identifiable reds that I've ever seen. All right, let's take a look at some more aerial images that contain reds in just a minute. Keep in mind that they come in all shapes and sizes and they're not always in the locations that you might expect. All right, we're getting a little tougher here. The red in this image is not quite as obvious as the previous one. It's also a cloudy day, which is a variable that makes it a lot harder for us to see reds from the air. This red is also located on the Upper Salmon River, but it's a lot closer to the headwaters than the previous red. All right, here it is circled in pink. Nice job if you spotted it. Let's try a few more. All right, what do you think about this one? It's definitely a lot better lighting here. It's a really sunny day but we are flying a bit higher, so that does make it tough. This red is located on the East Fork Salmon River, so you can see there's kind of a lot of differences in the substrate here than the previous two reds. All right, we're gonna circle this red in pink as well, just in case you weren't able to spot it. All right, there it is. Okay, let's look at an even harder one. All right, this red is also located on the East Fork Salmon River. This one is really tough and it's really easy to miss. All right, there's that red. If you got this one, you're a pro. If not, let's look at a very zoomed in picture so you can see what we're really looking at here. Okay, there's that red. 
There's also two spawning fish on this one as well, which made it a lot easier for me to spot. Otherwise, you can just see a slight color difference in the duckgut red and the surrounding gravel. All right, let's look at one last one. Okay, this red is also located on the East Fork Salmon River. You can see here and in the previous two photos that the East Fork substrate makes it tough. There isn't much color difference between the reds and the surrounding area. There are a few fish on this one, which really helps to draw your eye in. Okay, there's that red. And that's the wrap. Thanks for playing, and hopefully you learned how to identify Chinook Salmon Red if you're lucky enough to see these amazing fish spawn somewhere in Idaho.